next time. Uh, Every, race, everything on the court, boys. Everything right on the court. It's going to be a good day. It's gonna be it's your last race too, buddy. Take it hard into the finish. Leave everything out the course. All right. 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 We start our cross country state finals coverage with the boys in Division I. And what a start. The sophomore Hobbs Kessler from Ann Arbor Skyline. At the moment here, he ran the second fastest time in the 25 year history of the finals at MIS with a time of 14 minutes, 51.79 seconds in the first of two Division I boys heats. As we go now to the final stretch of the second heat, one of the top runners in the state, the junior Riley Huff, looking to break that time. Andy Wood, by just over two seconds, he finished with a time of 14 minutes, 49.62 seconds. It was really hard. I was basically dead once I hit the straightaway. But once I heard one of my coaches tell me I was on time and I looked at the clock, I knew I had to push it no matter what. Romeo came in the top ranked team in the state. The senior Xander Cobb had the fourth best time finishing at 15 minutes, 32 seconds. Jack Kelke also placed in the top 10. Romeo went on to claim its first state title in school history. It's amazing. We've been chasing this all year and to finally get it, it's just warms my heart, honestly. All these guys deserve it so much. This is just a testament to a lot of hard work over the years. I mean, it took a while to get there. We've had a bunch of top 10 finishes, but never really quite got over the hump. And they never steered clear of what they thought was possible this season. They always believed we could have a chance, and that's all we wanted. And we're so just grateful that we even were able to do this. I'm so glad the state uh, really worked their butts off to try to make this a meet. You are here to have a great time. And if you win, then awesome. <laughs> but you're here to have a good time. I am so proud of what you guys have done this season. Let's see how the ladies did. And in the first heat, Birmingham Seaholm senior Audrey D'Adamio finished fifth at States a year ago, looking to end her high school cross country career with a state crown. Audrey, still uncommitted to running college, had the best time at 17 minutes, 46.7 seconds to claim the Division I individual title. I've been dreaming about like crossing the line like since honestly probably middle school but really freshman year like when I was here I was like in the 60s and I was like oh my god like how do girls run so fast and like to have like worked to put myself in this position where I'm contending for a title is something really special and I've had a lot of good like role models on the team and like in my family um, that have like helped me believe in myself so that I could get here. So I'm just really thankful that I have them. Ann Arbor Pioneer gunning for its second straight state team title came in ranked the second best in the state. The freshman Rachel Forsythe for the Pioneers took first place in the second heat with a time of 17 minutes, 55 seconds. Her junior teammate Cookie Ball fourth among team runners. Ann Arbor Pioneer went on to claim back to back division one state titles. It was even more special than winning it last year, of course, with the setback of the pandemic and then setbacks with in injuries on the team. We've just been growing all season just incredibly. And this today, we just put it all out on the course and we pulled through and it's super exciting. This was unbelievable. We just, we didn't expect it. And I mean, we, we knew we were pretty good, but because we didn't get to race a lot of teams this year, we didn't know how good. And uh, we weren't ranked number one. It's surprising, the girls are, are super excited to win the second time.